And today we're going to be talking about lead assignment in the CRM. There are two main ways that you can perform lead assignment. One is through assignment rules and the other is through workflow rules. We'll talk about the differences between each when you would use one over the other, as well as a quick walkthrough of how to set those up. Let's get started. So we're going to begin talking about assignment rules. Assignment rules, you can access those by going into your settings. And under automation, we have assignments. So I'll click on that. Under the assignment rules section, we have a few different tabs up here where you can create the rules to assign records based on specific criteria. If you are setting up sort of a round robin style assignment, you can set thresholds for how many records can be assigned to any one individual. And you can also enable Zia analysis for your records, either for leads, contacts, accounts, any module, really. We're just going to focus on leads today, however. One of the things that is required for Zia to be able to give you suggestions on those lead assignments is you do have to have a minimum of a thousand records from the last six months. There should be different record owners present for those records in that module. And the more fields you have, the easier it will be for Zia to recognize a pattern. But today, we won't focus on this. We're going to stick with the direct assignment rules. When you go to create an assignment rule, again, you can create these for any module. We're just going to focus on leads today. And we'll start with a simple round robin. So I'm going to call this my round robin assignment. And the first question is, what should this rule apply to? Should it apply to all leads that are coming in? or leads that only match certain conditions. For now, we'll leave this as all records for a simple version. Then you decide who that record should be assigned to. So the categories you can pick from are individual users, roles, or groups. So with users, I'll get a list of all of my users, and this is a multi-select field. So here I could pick both users here, and you'll see that now there is a little message below that's saying that the users will be assigned in a round robin pattern. Uh, while you can do this sort of a direct user assignment, usually a better choice would be going with something like groups. That way, if a particular user changes positions within your organization, you don't have to worry about coming back in and recreating the assignment rules or editing them. You just have to move them from one group to another. A way you create a group is by going to the general settings. So I'll click on save rule entry here so we can come back to it. We'll go ahead and assign sales here. And again, it's going to use a round robin pattern. I'll come over here to general and under users, you can select the groups that you want to create. For example, I have my sales group here where I could add individual members. Now, I've already added all the members that are in this demo account, but I could create the group out of users with a specific role, users assigned to a specific territory, or even users assigned to another group. So you could kind of stack groups on top of each other to uh, whatever configuration and grouping uh, is most necessary for you. All right, let's head back to the assignment rule. Just like before, when I said that you could filter by certain records could or couldn't have this rule applied to them. You can also do the same thing with users matching certain conditions, right? If more than one, and again, if more than one user satisfies the criteria, again, the round robin pattern will be assigned. So if you wanted to uh, have a value on the users module that will determine who is in this group, you could also do that here. But again, I would recommend using groups in your user section because you'll use groups for other things as well like in workflow rules which we'll look at a little bit later you can set who should be included on uh, notifications email threads that sort of thing so again groups is my recommendation there also you have the option to check availability for assigners based on online status or shift timing so this is if your leads are coming in you know by the minute and you want your people to be able to hop onto a brand new lead within, you know, minutes or hours of that lead showing up. You can assign leads only to people that are currently online and logged in if you want people hopping on things right away. 
But if your lead response time isn't quite that strict, if you just need to get to somebody within a few days, then you could leave these alone. And finally, you can add a follow-up task to be automatically generated when that lead gets assigned to show up, say, on that owner's task list from their CRM tasks so that they have that uh, extra push to get involved and follow up with that lead record. All right, now let's go through an example of an assignment rule where you are using conditions. So let's imagine you want to assign leads to different users based on the state that the lead comes from. Let's say you service California, Nevada, and Colorado. Let's go ahead and set up an assignment rule that would divide leads based on that state criteria. So we create another assignment rule here. It'll be with the leads again, and I'll call it leads by state. Then I'm going to apply this rule only to records matching certain conditions. And we'll go with state is, and here you can decide whether or not you want to compare that to a specific value that you can input here, or if it is equal to the value of another field, right? For this one, I'm just going to hard code the value in here for, let's start with Colorado. So if the state is Colorado, then I want it going to this admin user. All right, I'll save that rule entry. And here you can see that I have my first criteria and rule entry here, that if the state is Colorado, it specifically goes to this admin user. If that criteria is not met, it'll go to the logged in user. But I need to set up the same kinds of rules, but for California and Nevada. I'm going to click on new rule entry. So we're still under the leads by state assignment rule, but we're creating a rule entry within that assignment rule. So now, just like the other one, I'm going to add the criteria of state is Nevada. And I'll say that that should go to this recruit demo user, save that entry, and we'll do one more. And say that if the, oh, that was a close one. I almost uh, applied the criteria to the users, but I want to apply it to the records. If the state record is California, then I'll say that, say the California leads can go to either one of these users, the admin user or the recruit demo user. So now this way, I've got kind of a cascading series of criteria that the CRM is going to go through when a new lead comes in and decide who that lead should be assigned to. A new lead comes in, then it's gonna check what the state value is. If the state is Colorado, it goes to the admin user. If that's not true, then if the state is Nevada, it'll go to the recruit demo user. If that's not true and it turns out state is California, then it's going to assign it to either the admin user or the recruit demo user based on the round robin pattern. And finally, if it so happens that none of that criteria is met, so if state is empty or if state was just something else like New York, Louisiana, whatever, then it's going to be assigned automatically to the logged in user. Now, let's say that I specifically wanted all of the ones that don't match any of these criteria to go specifically to the admin user, then all I have to do is create one more rule entry and just leave it as applied to all records. So now you can see here that, again, it'll go through top to bottom where it checks if the state's Colorado, if it's not that, if it's Nevada or California. If it doesn't match any of these, then our new default essentially is going to be sending it to the admin user. Now, if I wanted to reorder these, I can do so by clicking on that reorder button and moving these rows around or by typing in this field here. Once I'm satisfied, I'll click on save. And this is the order in which those criteria will be checked. All right, so that is the basics of how a lead assignment rule is set up. But now there's a question of how is a lead assignment rule 
triggered. Now, a lead assignment rule, something to note, is that they only get triggered if a lead is being brought into the CRM from an outside source. So if it's coming in through a web form or through an API call or through an import, then the lead assignment rules will be triggered if they are selected to be triggered. For example, let's take a look at Zoho Forms. I go to Zoho Forms and I have a simple contact form here, right? With asking for name, company, email, that sort of thing. If I come over here to integrations and I have my form connected with the CRM so that when somebody fills out this form, it will create a record in the CRM. After I map all of my fields, if I come down here to the follow-up actions, right? Where you have things like this should trigger automation and process management like workflow rules, or it should upsert if there's a record that already exists. I have to check this assignment rules box if I want that assignment rule to be triggered. And now in addition to checking that box, I also have to specify which assignment rule should be followed. And you'll see the same thing say in Zoho Flow. If you set up something to create a lead in Zoho Flow, there'll be a question of, is there an assignment rule that you want this sort of channel to follow as a record is coming in? So now you might have a question, well, what if my leads are not coming in through a web form or from Zoho Flow or from Zoho Forms? What if my salespeople are putting in leads manually for whatever reason, or that the lead might come in, but the information that we have to assign the leads doesn't get determined at creation. We have to gather more information before we figure out where that lead is supposed to go. Well, then that you won't want to use assignment rules for, because again, assignment rules only trigger on creation of that lead record when it's coming in from an outside source. Any lead that is created manually or already exists in your CRM, an assignment rule won't reassign that record automatically. That we will have to use a workflow rule. So let's go into that. So we're gonna come back here into our settings and I'm gonna come here to automation and set up a workflow rule. Now I already have my leads by state assignment rule set up, but as I mentioned, that assignment rule can only trigger when a lead gets created via an import or a web form. Well, what if a lead comes in without a state value, right? The person fill out the contact form, but we didn't ask for their state or we didn't make it a required field and the state doesn't come in. But what I would like is once that state field does get filled in, I want that lead to get redirected to the right individual. Well, for that, we're gonna use a workflow rule. So let's go ahead and create one based on the leads module. And I'll call this reassign lead based on state. All right, and so we're gonna execute this workflow rule based on a record action. And I'll do this on edit. And we'll say if a specific field gets modified, and we can do this whenever that field changes. If for some reason that field were to get updated two or three times, you know, maybe we got some incorrect information, who knows? But we're gonna now specify that when the state is modified to, we can say, any value or a specific value or just simply not empty. I'm just gonna go ahead and leave it as any value. I'll go ahead and click on next. So you can see what I have here is that this rule will be executed when the state field is modified to any value. And this rule is gonna be repeated whenever that state field changes. Then you decide which leads I would like this rule to apply to. I'll go ahead and say that it should apply to any lead that this happens to. Click on done. And now, under my instant actions, I get to assign the owner. Now, this pops up with a selection of options similar to what we saw in the assignment rules, right? So here I can select groups of users, which just like in the assignment rules, if you assign more than one, it will do it in a round robin pattern. You can do it by role, by group, by specific fields on the user's module. You can specify a user condition uh, that should add them to uh, a list of potential owners or best part, because we've already set up an assignment rule, we can just trigger that assignment rule to be triggered once again. So here I will just select my leads by state. I've already got all of my things set up over there 
in the assignment rules section. And so now I can uh, set up whether or not there should be an email notification to the new owner. And then I can also choose to transfer any related tasks, meetings, or calls to the new owner as well. So for example, any of the open tasks, meetings, and calls, I'll just go ahead and set those. So those will also get transferred over. And I'll go ahead and check that box as well. I'll click on save and associate. So now the nice thing this way, because we're basing it on an assignment rule, it means that if I need to make any changes to my assigning process, say I want to add more state fields or more state values rather, you know, I say that, well, now I've brought on four more people. So I've got uh, Derek who's going to take care of Washington. Um, we got Laura is going to take care of Idaho, etc. I only have to go and change those in the assignment rules. And I don't need to also update my workflow rules because those are also triggering the same assignment rule. So that way you kind of keep all of your actual logic and rules in one place and you simply use your workflow rules to trigger it after the fact. And voila, you now have an automation set up that no matter where a lead is coming from, it's going to go through the assignment rules and workflow rules that we want and get sent to the right people consistently and cleanly. That's going to do it for this tip from Zanata this week. If you like this video, we always appreciate a like and subscribe here on YouTube. And if you would like any help from Zanata Consulting in setting up your CRM system, whether it's assignment rules or anything else, head over to Zanata.com, click on book a meeting, and you can get talking with one of our sales reps today. Again, I've been Greg Belknap. Thank you so much, and we'll see you in the next video.